Hello friends, I'm Chevy. Welcome to the shed. How was your day today? I I hope you're doing well. Hope all's good with you. Today, January 4th, 2017, we hit a milestone on the channel. 15,000 subscribers! That's you. You're the subscribers. You're the guys who, who did this. Um, and no, I didn't totally make that sign uh, five minutes before turning the camera on. Why would you say that? I spent a lot of time on that. And I, did, I didn't spend time. I didn't spend any time on that. I, I literally just drew that. And, um, and it, yeah. So I know at the beginning of December I said I'd love to hit 15,000 by the end of the year. And I thought we could do it. Uh, I really did. And we almost did. We came really close. And that's kind of what I want to talk about. So I, a long time ago, like when I first started the show, March of last year, I thought I wanted to hit like 20 by the end of the year. I thought I could do, I thought I could get 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. If you get 10,000 subscribers in your first year on YouTube, and that, granted this is not my first year here, but this is basically my first year. Um, that'd be pretty amazing. Uh, now, that being said, I started the year with 10,000 subscribers. Um, I don't, I didn't take a snapshot of that time. And, and so I put a date on here because I want to know when we hit these sorts of things. Um, I did not take a snapshot of that time, but I remember being just under 10,000 subscribers when I started this particular show. And almost the entirety of that 10,000 subscribers, I would say like, 9,800 of them came from the one video, and that is, of course, the Time Capsule video. You've heard me talk about it so many times on this show. Um, and the Time Capsule video got me all those subs. And did what that meant when I started this show? Absolutely nothing. Um, and so I, I was going to put together some sort of, like, milestone celebration because I see so many people on YouTube, like, yeah, we hit 20,000 subs, we hit 25,000, we hit 50, we hit 100. Yes, we did this, and you guys are awesome. And... It's true. Like, I, I don't want to sound ungrateful. Um, the fans that I have here every single day, the people who come back and who comment and who engage with me, engage with the community, who participate in the discussion that I create here every day, just are the most amazing people to me. Because I, why the hell you found me, you know, whether you came to me through the board gaming side or whether you've discovered me on YouTube or whatever reason it is that you ended up here, the people that end up here and who who engage me uh, every day, it, it makes me, it warms my heart to a degree that I did not know was possible from anonymity, right? Like I have a extremely heartfelt relationship with my daughters and I feel that same way about this channel and about this show and about you. I feel that same like sense of, of compassion and energy for this. So I don't want to sound at all like I'm ungrateful. Uh, because that's not what I'm trying to say here. What I'm trying to say here is this number doesn't mean a, a, a damn thing. It means absolutely nothing. Um, and I'll tell you what, when I started the show in March of last year, I told you already, I had just under 9,000 subscribers. Uh, March 21st was the very first episode of the show. This is now the 203rd episode. And, uh, just before that, like January, February, March, I tried to do a maker channel. And I did about five or six build videos. I built a baby gate for my dog. I built some tool holders. I built, I don't know what else I built. I built some stuff. And those videos got between two to 500 views or so. It's actually, that's actually pretty good for starting out. And if I would have continued in that vein, I probably would have hit the 20,000 this year. Maybe even more. I don't know. But I, I wasn't feeling it. Working in the shop and trying to film it at the same time is an extremely tedious thing and it gets in the way of my process. My process, if you go back and watch me building this this goofy thing, uh, it's very freeform, very free-flowing. I kind of figure it out as I go. And so to have the camera in the way, it just doesn't work. So I knew that I couldn't continue doing the build videos as regularly as I was. So I wanted something else. And that's when I decided to embrace the talk show thing. Uh, that I always, that I've dreamed of having since I was a kid, and I did it, March 21st. March 21st, 
2016, I had roughly 10,000 subscribers. I had roughly 2,000 followers on Twitter uh, from the board game industry. So I already had a, a bit of an audience. I had a started off on with an audience. Um, not necessarily for the stuff that I was talking about here. They, they knew me from board games, and I really didn't talk about board games in the beginning. But I had an audience, and I launched. And those very first videos, the first week, got right around 200 views each. And then, you know, slowly that all went downhill until the summer I was getting like 40 views per video, maybe 50. Um, probably averaged out about 60 for a good six months of the show. Um, and now I'm slowly starting to see the view counts creep back up. And in the last week, um, I've had about 100 views per video. Now, that being said, in the last two weeks, the uh, the the video, the time capsule video has gone hot again, and I'm getting hundreds of comments every day about that video, which brings people here and they watch the new stuff. So this is an inflated number. I'm probably back to about 75. So I've gained about 25 daily views in the last month or so. Okay. So I started in March, I started with about 200 views per video. Here we are 10 months later, 203 episodes later, 5,000 more subscribers, 5,000 more people have watched my content and have clicked on the subscribe button. And I'm getting less views than I did at the start. That's the number that matters, the view count. What people come here for, to watch my channel. And I honestly strongly believe, because the, the, the time capsule video is so bizarre and so different from everything else on this channel, and because it got 10,000 subscribers from the get-go, I honestly believe uh, that this number is doesn't really reflect 15,000 people who have clicked that button. I would guess more like maybe half of that number have clicked that button. And the other half is just bot views. Um, for instance, if I want, if I take a video, and I've, I've experimented with this, if I take a video, and I, an old video, and I tweet about it, I immediately get five views every single time. Tweet, five views, tweet, five views, tweet, five, I could just spam Twitter all day and get hundreds of views. Never going to do that, because that's just not who I am. But uh, tweet, five views, tweet, five views. Because bots are following the link from Twitter. I don't know what the advantage a bot would have to click on a subscribe button, but to say I have 15,000 people who have watched a video of mine and have clicked the subscribe button, and I get, I don't even know how to do the math, say 100 views per day means that one, uh, one hundredth of 1% 1 of the people who have clicked that button watch my content. I don't think that number means a whole lot to me. What means a whole lot to me is the comments that the, the comment section, the discussions that we have. That is that is a greater uh, way that I gauge myself uh, when I look at how my stuff is performing. So I printed off some of your comments. Some of these came from. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm going to do a video someday. If you want to see it, let me know. I'm going to do a video where I read some of the really terrible comments on the time capsule vid because it gets bad comments. These are comments on videos here, and these people got here from the time capsule video, mostly. For instance, the first one, Gunnar Stout says, you're stupid. No, thanks, Gunnar. In fact, I responded. Thanks for the input. I usually respond to trolls that way, just like thanking them for their opinion. Um, just a random comment. He posted something on the... I know he came here from the time capsule video because he posted a comment there and then immediately posted a comment over here. Uh, just a random comment says, on the video where I was saying I wanted yesterday's video, the hopes for 2017, doing more. He said, you're not going to do YouTube more, I think, because you're getting low views. Yeah, I know. I'm getting one 150th of a percent or whatever it is. Somebody do the math for me. I'm, anyway, I should have done the math before starting the show. Uh, yeah, and I responded to him that I don't base my success on YouTube or my desire to do the show on view count. It means literally nothing to me. Uh, what 
does mean something to me is things like jdallo21 said, awesome video, please upload more of these types of videos. Now that's just a random person. This is his first ever comment on my channel. Josh King comments all the time. Have daily conversations with Josh King thanks to this show, thanks to this platform. And that means the world to me says, watch yesterday's video. Uh, this is the mark of a good father, being able to juggle having your kid on your lap while taping a show and listening to calls. Such a dad skill. Kudos for getting her involved too. It's been fun watching. Hope you're back heel soon. That's amazing. Like, this person uh, found me somehow through the world, uh, decided to, for whatever reason, click on a link of mine and watch a video and has come back every day and commented. Not every day, most days. And has really meaningful conversation. That's, that's how I base my, my success here. Not this number. Not uh, just a random comment. Not view counts. Don't give a damn. It means nothing to me. Um, comments like Nikayla. I just watched your time capsule video from 2012. And it is now 2017. And your daughter is so cute. And I subscribed to you. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Nikayla. That That's the stuff. Um, Super Kid Druga said, I'm a big fan. Please do never stop do videos. And when you die, let your kids do videos when they are big. <laughs> well, let's not talk about me dying, uh, Kid Druga. I'm only 37, so come on. I got some time left. But those comments, the comments are the reason that I come here. The discussion that I attempt to have with you every single day is the reason I come here. This is a big deal. It really is. YouTube gauges your success on subscriber count. And getting brand deals is based on this number. YouTube has benchmarks at like 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, 1 million, 10 million. Um, that, that's their like benchmarks for you unlock new levels of support or whatever. So because I have over 10,000, I've unlocked some levels of support from YouTube. So it means something, but it, it, it yes, it's an achievement and I'm proud of it. And I'm proud to say that I'm going to continue. And I hope that by the end of this year, uh, we have 20,000. I'd like to add another 5,000. I would love to say I want to have 25. I'm going to double it, but I, that's never, it's just not going to happen. Um, you know, maybe the gaming channel, whatever. Um, but this means something and it means something to me that you have clicked that button. But what means way more to me is the conversations that we have, the phone calls, the emails, the conversations, the tweets. Thank you so much. I really, 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 really appreciate you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for making me a part of your day. My back is killing me. It is game night, but I'm not there because sitting up is a struggle. So I had planned on uh, doing some gaming tonight in this room up today. I ordered myself a Bluetooth wireless uh, game pad for my phone to record some of the gaming channel stuff. So I'm gonna go play with this and um, expect a review. Thank you. I will see you tomorrow. Hey, Doc, wait! I want to ask you something. Today's random fact comes from the New York Times from 2012. We are... <coughs> How many pandas are there in the United States? There are 12 giant pandas in captivity in the United States, housed in the zoos in Atlanta, Memphis, San Diego, and Washington. Zoo Atlanta and the San Diego Zoo have two cubs each. The youngest cub was born in San Diego in July. That was 2012. I would assume it's roughly around that same number. But it's also interesting that there's only four zoos that have them. I would have expected uh, more. A little crappy zoo near here has red pandas. Does that count?